Hello, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with the scheduler publishing job in the sidecar. Okay, so for example, I'm an editor for the website and I have to enter some content for the article or the event on the website. Okay, so now if I'm an editor, I will go ahead to click on the content editor here. Okay, so after that, it will open the content tree which I have to enter the data for this website. And for example, this one is the visit one is an event I have just created for this website. And today I, I, I just finished to create the content for this event, but um, in in the next day or another day, it will uh, uh, happen this event. So now I don't want to publish this site event at this time because it still not happen. Um, I, I so um, meaning or meaning uh, when the event happen, so I ha I have to access into the site or admin here to do the publish publishing job to make it display it on the website. Okay, so also when we finish the the, the, the event. We have to come back again into the sidecar, and after that, we have to do the unpublish the sidecar, uh, unpublish the, the, the event. So that's why after that, the event cannot display on the website anymore. Okay, so basically, we have to, to do the work by manually. So maybe it will take the time or some the, maybe we have some missing item. That means the, 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 the event or article will be not published to the website in, in the in the real time. Okay, so now to prevent this action, so in this video today, I would like to, to introduce some uh, plugin we call it is Sidecore Schedule Public. Okay, so you can get it from the market marketplace here. You can see here we have a download button. You go ahead to click on download button in red here agree and at this time it's fully support for the version e 8.0 or another uh, 8.2 8.1 so now i will click on this one for cycle 8.0 click on packet and after that it will download the file into my pc here okay cool so now it will automatically save the file into the download folder on my PC. Okay, I will close this one, close this, and I will back to back to the sidecar sidecar admin. Okay, so for this uh, URL to get the zip plugin, I will paste it into the description of this video on YouTube, so you guys can come there and get the link and download the file okay so here i i have to back to the that part of it and go to the desktop okay so now clicking on the beginner button here in the development tool i clicking on this and i select the installation wizard so now i have to install the plugin uh, which we have just get it from the uh, Sidecore Psycho Marketplace to, to into my local PC and after that we install it so now you choose the packet I will click on the uh, sorry upload packet I will select the file yeah so now we, okay make it look better I have scheduled the public modules at zero dot zip file. I select this one and I click on the next button. Check to the override existing file. So if we have been uploaded to the file before into the system and now we will if we check on this one, so it will override the file on the server. Close this one and click on next button. Yeah, so this one is some of the inf uh, information of this packet. There are the scheduled public module version 1.0, and this one is auto. 
click on the install button. It will, will take some, some time to install the package into the cycle. Come on, come on. Okay, so after that, let it by default and you click on the glow button here. It will do refresh to make the effect into the cycle system. You clicking on the, dot, the icon on the top here, it will direct you to the dot board. Okay, clicking on the content editor. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so now you clicking on the home button here. So, I mean, you see, uh, for example, this one home is the event you have just created in the cycle backend, and you still not published it to the website. So at this time, no one can see the content of this event. Okay. So you select the home button in the home button here, and after that, click on the publish on the menu yeah so you can see here after we install the cycle schedule the list on plug in into the cycle we have a session here there are some options for the schedule the list and schedule the uh, schedule and published and also edit schedule okay so i will show step by step and guide you on three items here the first thing i will select the schedule published Okay, so here you can see there are some information. The schedule publishing setting and you can see this this one is the current time on the server. Okay, so now you can see the publishing date. Use, okay, so for example, this one is 15. So now you want to publish the content in 17. So you select the 17. And I will want to publish it in the 0 a.m. Cannot select 0 a.m. Okay. And here I will select the republish, publish everything. And after that, I will select the public sub item and also public related item. Okay, cool. And here, the schedule the public language. Okay, so uh, at this time, I have only one language version in this uh, website. So in case uh, you have a lot, a lot of, um, of languages on the system, so you select the language you want to be public. And the same thing for schedule the public target. Uh, for now, it's only public to the website. You are able to select it. Uh, for example, when you are working uh, on a real, real system, you are able to publish it to the setting or the person environment. Or you can also publish it to the web and the master. Okay. So after that, you click on the OK button here. Yes. So after that, you will click on the schedule public again here. It will display the existing schedule. The time is here, 20, um, 17 November. Okay, and the, the action is public and the language is English and version is 1. Okay, cool. And now you can see here we have an edit schedule. Clicking on this one. So here on this on this uh, pop-up, you are able to do the update or modification for the publishing schedule. You can able to change the date. I will change it 18 and 1 a.m. 
save it ok if you click on the schedule published here yeah so you can see here it will change the time for the un existing schedule cool and you can do the same thing by clicking on edit schedule and update it again again and again and now here after you see okay so for example uh, after you update the data for uh, uh, sorry after you publish the event to the website here it successfully published and after that you can set the schedule for unpublished so now here if this event only uh, happened in only two days and in the 12 or uh, 20 Country, it will finish so I will select this one and I will select it is here the time for unpublished item and schedule the unpublished target same thing so you should select the internet or setting or the matter or person depending on the configuration on the website okay clicking on the ok button to to, to save the schedule cool and now clicking on schedule published yeah so you can see here we have two existing schedule the first one is published and the second one is unpublished after two days of the event so we will close and unpublish the event okay cool and i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to work with the cycle schedule to plug in to do the and to do the auto schedule the publishing the, and unpublishing the content on the website so indeed of uh, doing it by manually okay so i hope that video will be helpful for you and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later